My name is uh, Javier Bravo. I'm an associate professor at the ICANN School of Medicine at Mount Sinai and the Teas Cancer Institute. In this uh, video, I want to tell you about a recent publication from my lab in Cell Reports, in where we study how breast cancer cells um, balance proliferative and invasive uh, signals during dissemination and metastasis by using high-resolution uh, in vivo microscopy. Metastasis is a very complex process in where cancer cells have to undergo multiple transitions from invasion into the stroma, intravasation, extravasation from the blood vessels, and seed and growth at a distant sites. In order to study the metastatic cascade in vivo, we have applied uh, different imaging technologies and various animal models. We have used a, a zebrafish model in order to study the extravasation of breast cancer cells from the blood vessels by using lattice lysis microscopy. And also we have used uh, mouse models in order to study the invasion of these cells, dissemination and also metastatic growth uh, by using a two-photon intraviral microscopy. In, in this study, Rini Mondal, a postdoc in my lab, found that disseminated tumor cells that then regulate a protein named SRGAP1, they have increased dissemination capacities. By using zebrafish models and lattice lysis microscopy, we were able to show that as cancer cells approach the blood vessels, they form uh, finger-like protrusions that establish the first contact with the endothelial cells. As you can see in this movie, we have uh, breast cancer cells in blue and the endothelial layers uh, the endothelial cells in red, and you can see uh, how the tumor cells are forming this uh, finger-like protrusion and, and contacting the endothelial cells before extravasation. What we also found is that upon depletion of SRGAP1 protein, we see an increase uh, of extravasation of these cells from the blood vessels. As you can see in these uh, uh, images from our uh, zebrafish experiments, we have uh, cancer cells in green and blood vessels in purple, and you can see the high degree of extravasation of these cells depleting by SRGAP1 compared with the controls. In order to study the motile behavior of cancer cells in vivo, we have used animal models and a uh, two-photon intraviral microscopy. We injected uh, breast cancer cells in the mammary fat pad, and then we performed a skin flap surgery in order to expose the tumor and image that tumor in real time. As you can see in these representative movies from those experiments, you can notice the high degree of uh, motility of these SRGAP1 depleted cells uh, when compared uh, with the control. Interestingly, what we found is that while SRGAP1 depleted cells are very efficient of extravasating and highly migratory, when they reach the lung, they are not capable of forming metastasis. In these uh, representative images from lungs uh, of uh, mice uh, bearing tumors, you can see how uh, in the control image, the tumor cells form a large metastasis in, uh, in green, while the SRGAP1 depleted cells remain at single cells or uh, small clusters. And what we uh, show in the paper is that uh, upon dissemination and seeding in the lung, SRGAP1 depleted cells remain in a quiescent, non-proliferative state named tumor dormancy. An important conclusion of our study is that uh, highly motile tumor cells that, that regulate SRGAP1, they have increased dissemination capacities, they're very efficient of extravasating, they're highly motile, uh, but they can also, when they reach the, the lung, enter in this uh, quiescent state and remain uh, dormant. And they do so by increasing the secretion of uh, TGF beta 2 and activating uh, the SMAT2 pathway that increase the level of uh, P27 and keeping these cells uh, in quiescence. Thanks so much for your attention and for giving us the opportunity to share with you our work.